Hey, welcome to this companion video for Aurora's Bow making a composite two-piece PVC fiberglass rod and wood takedown bow. Uh, this is not a how-to video, this is mainly a showcase video that uh, accompanies the article which I will put in uh, the notes below. You can see the link there. This is a bow that is designed to be as small as possible and I wanted to have pretty simple uh, lines as well as uh, pack a punch. These are just some pictures of the finished bow as well as some screenshots of a chronograph app that I used to attempt to get the speed of the bow. This is using a 446 grain arrow and it averaged at about 180 feet per second. Here I am just showing the profile of the bow I added a grip and an arrow rest, as you can see. Each limb has two thin fiberglass rods inside that are secured in place with great stuff foam. You can look down the grip and see the very end of one of the fiberglass rods here. The ends of the bow uh, are made from a hardwood clothes hanger and are set into the the ends of the bow about two inches. You can really use any kind of hardwood as long as the grain is running lengthwise and uh, you don't interrupt it. One of the nice things about clothes hangers though is that they have ends cut, cut in them which can serve as knocks, although you can easily cut your own and then round off the tips. Here I am just test pulling the bow a few times just because it's cold outside and it helps to warm up the PVC. This is a distance of about 10 feet using 32 inch arrows. One of the nice things about this bow is even though it is so small, 45 inches, uh, when strung, knock to knock, it's still possible for me to pull it back 32 inches, which is a full draw for me. I think that's probably due to the fact that the fiberglass rods and the foam inside the limbs make them more resilient and are better able to tolerate the stresses of being pulled back as far as uh, they are. Now this is a distance of about 20 feet. If you have other suggestions, design questions, etc. Just leave them in the comments section in the accompanying post below. And I'm going to leave you with a picture of the cover of the book that inspired this bow, as well as the character that did. Thank you for watching, and happy and safe shooting.